you know you can pull an almost absurd amount of weight a given distance with any car before you break the car but equipping you for that kind of trailering is not our business our business is equipping you with a vehicle that will handle your requirements for weight and terrain we want to keep your car running we want you to have fun and travel with peace of mind fun. That's the name of the game, isn't it? Trailers are fun. They took America out of doors, showed people a new and exciting way to live, a fun way. And the sale of trailers went up like a skyrocket. Three and a half million recreational vehicles in use right now. By 1980, we can see seven and a half million. That's a lot of recreation. A lot of fun, a lot of trailers, and a lot of cars. But you can't enjoy your trailering without the right vehicle to tow it. The minute you put the two together, you have a whole new unit. They have to function as a unit. One has to fit the other the way your tires fit your wheels. Otherwise, your fun could go out the window. But with so many different trailers, so many things to consider in the towing vehicle. How can you be sure you have the combination that will function as a unit? Just a hitch won't do it. Chevrolet engineers in comprehensive testing programs have determined that for efficient operation, whatever the trailer, a minimum combination of engine, transmission, and axle ratio is necessary. A combination that will help enable you to maintain speeds up to 72 miles an hour at sea level, no headwind, on level interstate highways. That's Chevrolet's minimum criterion. Well, the first thing we did was buy ourselves a trailer. Then, since we were in the market for a new car, we went to our Chevrolet dealer to buy the, the right car. Because the same friends who got us interested in trailering told us to go to Chevrolet to the experts. In trailering, everyone's needs are different. How big a trailer did these folks have? What was its top loaded weight? What's its maximum tongue load? Does it have brakes? And how did they intend to use it? It turned out they had just bought a 29-foot model, 6,000 pounds loaded. They planned one or two long trips each year. On reaching each destination, they had parked the trailer and used the car separately. Of course, asking questions is just part of the job. The other part is knowing what to recommend. My know-how is based on these car and truck trailering charts that Chevrolet Engineering has worked out. No guesswork here. They show the minimum power team requirements for every trailering situation. Also, the required equipment, the right suspension, hitch, radiator, brakes, and so on. In addition, they show other equipment that is recommended for an added measure of easy operation. If you have a light trailer, up to 2,000 pounds loaded, we figure out the right towing vehicle in this area. With a medium trailer, we do our figuring here. And over here, this tells you what you need for a heavy trailer one that weighs up to six or 7,000 pounds when loaded. Well, for the trailer they had just bought, there's quite a choice. From the Caprice through the various wagons, any of these vehicles would do the job. But since they wanted top-of-the-line styling, I recommended Caprice. The chart showed they had a choice of a 402 V8 
with a 342 axle ratio and dual exhaust, or a 454 with a 308 axle. The 402 would do the job, but for added performance, acceleration, and ability to stay with traffic, especially at high elevations, the bigger engine would give them more power, and that's the one they chose. Required equipment included heavy-duty cooling, heavy-duty suspension, turbo hydromatic transmission, and an equalizer hitch with anti-sway feature. This is designed to distribute the weight throughout the car-trailer combination. Chevrolet's equalizer hitch platform is easy to install. Like most other Chevrolets, Caprice comes with the attachment holes pre-punched in its frame. Additionally, I recommended positive traction for sure-footed pulling, especially in off-highway use, a heavy-duty battery for reserve power, and Chevrolet's cruise control for holding at desired speed. Naturally, I made sure they were outfitted with trailering mirrors. All my recommendations were based on what I felt was the best combination of power, stability, and easy operation. We already had a medium trailer, about 4,000 pounds loaded. When we bought our new car, we went right to the hitching post people to be sure it'd be right for our trailer. They said their trailering would be mostly brief, weekend excursions. Since they were watching the money carefully, I recommended a Nova. It's economical to operate and capable of hauling up to 4,000 pounds. The engine, all the power they'd need. Turbo hydromatic and a 342 axle ratio. Now, they could relax, have fun. The other day, I had another couple, retired. Their trailer, a 31-footer, 6,000 pounds loaded. They intended to do a lot of traveling over the next year or so. Long trips with stopovers in a lot of different places. Well, this pair also had quite a choice. But was a car necessarily the answer to their needs? Long trips, off-road driving, long distances between supply sources. They'd need room for extra supplies, extra storage space. Now, these people hadn't even thought of buying a truck, but the vehicle I recommended is really a great combination of truck and car. In addition to its car features, it has the extra space and built-in ruggedness I felt they needed. A suburban C20 with a 350 V8 and a 457 axle, or a 400 and a 354 axle ratio available. They chose the latter for smoother non-trailering use. Again, turbo hydromatic along with the other equipment they required. Since the wife was going to do a lot of the driving, I recommended power steering for easy handling. They now had a tow vehicle that was right for their trailer and for their kind of trailering. A lot of people are interested in the sports aspect of trailering. In winter, it's a toss-up, skiing or snowmobiling, usually both. We like to hit the trails with our bikes, out of the way places, and we believe that getting there is half the fun. 
Yes, getting there is half the fun. And for both these couples, I recommended a Blazer with four-wheel drive. Tough and capable of handling anything from light to heavy. Were they happy? You bet they were. Both couples knew how important it is to have all the right equipment when you're out for fun. When you bring your problems to Chevrolet's hitching post experts, you can relax. You'll get the right information, the right combination of trailer and tow vehicle, so that both of them operate together as one. As I said before, our business is to keep your car running. We want you to have fun.